I know you wouldn't with the term. Okay. No, with the job. You got a whole audience here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew you were doing that. I'll set myself on fire in 20 minutes. Okay, so stay around. No, with the job. You know, with the ball, I was just uh, telling the gentleman, <clears throat> with a dog, you can do tricks uh, that will really fool the dog, but have a different different response. With the dog, you, you do the thing of taking the ball and throwing it on the floor and bouncing it and catching it. See, and the dog follows it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I do a very, very good job. <laughs> and you do it again, you do it again, and then you do this with it. Like that, and the dog follows it down, it's not there. But the dog follows it down. And the dog will usually show dismay. There's a <laughs> and then you suddenly reach out and there's the ball, and the dog completely forgets what just happened. Oh, there's the ball. Resets. The dog resets automatically. Now kids won't necessarily do that. That's an easy thing to do. <laughs> see? See? <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> With dog, dog. <laughs> a, a dog is a, a much simpler mind. One hopes. In a sense, in a sense mind. Some dogs I know are smarter than most people I know. But uh, it's, it's just a funny reaction. With kids, we're just saying what entertains kids and how you have to design things in order to entertain kids. But um, yeah, it's, a, it's a different approach altogether. Uh, and, and I'll tell you, I've, I've often said <clears throat> that I would much more prefer to, if I were entertaining an audience, uh, if I had kids of seven or eight years of age, give me a whole raft of PhDs instead. The reason? They're easier because to see. PA yes, they are. Because they think logically. They think in a straight line. You see, a kid doesn't know it when you do this with a kid. The kid doesn't necessarily know that you should have put it in there, that you made the moves as if you put it in there. The kid doesn't know that because the kid hasn't got enough experience in the world. So you, you can say that the kid is not sophisticated enough to be fooled. But a kid doesn't have the experience of the world that when you make a move like that, you're probably putting it into that hand. The kid doesn't know that. And the <laughs> PhD does. And the PhD goes, land the bush? You know, kind of thing. But you can fool PhDs much easier because they think logically. They think rationally. And that's a big mistake when you're watching a magician, I would say. Box vanishes. You see, look over there. <laughs> Did I fool you with it? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. Right. We can, yeah. Oh, there are two here. Okay, good. And now, there's a thing about peanuts. I didn't know you knew this or not, but uh, we need a victim here. Hello. Would you like to be my victim? I'd love to be your victim. Yes, stand right here. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, this, that's how all the serial killer movies I've ever watched are. She even looks a little. Exactly that language when we're in that. Don't, don't understand. I didn't know you were going to be the butcher. Now, you see, you took away the box of Kleenex already. See, I was trying to illustrate the point. If someone took away the box of Kleenex, shame on you. You're trying to help me, and that doesn't help me one bit. Now, the funny thing is, it, this is something that's a little known, and I don't want you to spread this around, but Kleenex tissues have gender. Well, I know they're <laughs> difficult for you to believe. You say, come on. But it's true. And I, I've tested it many, many times. Because when they make them at the factory, you see, when they pack them in the box, alternately they have boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl, which is an admirable way to do it, I would say, yes. And it leads to more Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get into those details. But these two came out of the box, one after the other, you saw me take them out there. Right? Now I'm going to roll this one up into a little ball. Right? Notice that no time to the fingers leave my hand. <laughs> don't laugh, this is my profession. But the is naked, don't make it feel like it's, it's, it's not it's inferior. It's not he's inferior. always had living, you know. Oh, oh, that's 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 very that's very Gary Anders would, would be dismayed. Oh, right. Right. Now, there they are. Oh, I didn't look, I'm sorry. This. There, that's, that's the boy. I don't want to tell you how I know it. I happen to know that um, his name is. Um, he gets down all the time. His name is Abraham. I happen to know that. Don't look at me. So strange. And this, of course, will be this, obviously. That's the girl. And her name is Anna. I happen to know that. And again, don't ask me how. But what, what have I got here now? Okay, what's that? Abraham and Anna. No, no, it's Abe and Anna. Abe and Anna. Abe and Anna. It doesn't look like a banana, you see? All right, now you get a choice between Abe and Anna. Which one would you like? 
you'll take Alan. No, no, bring it over here. No, wait a minute. You're not living again, you see. Because it takes a move like this in order to take it out. And then like this to take it out. I, get over here. Get, come a little closer if you would. I want you to hold on to Anna. Like, no, no, no. One hand. One hand will do. Yeah. But make sure that no light hits it. No light. I predict that you have a ring around the portion. All right. And I'm going to have oh, I have in my pocket to look there. Oh. Yeah, I've got a little bit left. A little bit left. It's a lot. That burns. <laughs> She's very sensitive, because most people don't feel that. All right. Test her. Right. I'm going to take a and let me see. A little bit. Oops. Poking out. You don't want the light to hit it, for a second. Right. I'm going to take a and I'm going to hold it up against your hand like that and watch what happens. Open up your hand. And you've got the two of them. I have both. <laughs> Gay banana, again. I heard the person that astonishing? knew what was going on. <laughs> <laughs> Years of practice and self-denial. Now I will show you another illusion here. Do you and need me? This is one. No, no, you stand right there. But I like this. Will you stop? I'm learning it. You're padding your part again. <laughs> now, table magic. They're going to come from across the restaurant because they don't stand there. Your name is Sasha. Am I kind of yeah. <laughs> <laughs> called intuition? Jesus. Now, many people say that the closer they are, the easier it is for them to see each other. Now, I'm going to show you that that's not necessary. Too ready? One, two. Which hand is it? Okay, I'm going to do it. You see, because she was watching. Okay. And, you, and also, you see, when I when I did this, I pointed at it like this, and I gave you a hint. True. Don't believe all my hints. Okay, you ready? <laughs> A one, a two, which hand? <laughs> Shh, don't tell her. Don't tell her. She's got a dirty gate. No, I put it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to make it come back, all right? I'm going to make it come back, but it comes back in a strange way. I'm going to put my hand like that. <laughs> Everybody else here knows how it's done, except you. That's right. That's, that's why they're all laughing at me. Yeah. <laughs> they're with you. With, with you. They're not laughing at you. They're laughing at you. A one, a two, which hand? Now, I know it's difficult. I know it's difficult to solve, but we, if you only work on it, you see, little I'm behind you here, here, you don't even know that. Now, if anyone tells her, they'll turn into a frog. Looking <laughs> <laughs> around here, maybe that'd be an improvement. She'll have to wait for the video. Thank you.